So CES just wrapped up and Sony unveiled a ton of awesome products, but there's also a lot of questions about all the new stuff. So I figured the best way to answer those is to make a video running through the questions and hopefully answering everything you wanted to know about Sony's new lineup. The first question has to do with the STR DN1080 receiver. Disbeliever01 wants to know if it features SACD, which stands for Super Audio CD, and does it have a rubbish FM connector, proper preamp for front speakers, and detachable power cord? So the answer is yes. It will support SACD via either HDMI or USB, so pick your I.O. Both, both are supported. So Disbeliever01 has another question about the X800 Blu-ray player and wants to know if it will supply his Super Audio CDs. And the answer is yes. Yes, it'll pop, pop them in, it'll play. So Don't Be Evil 10, which is a good screen name and also a nice message, wants to know if the CT800 can add wireless surround sound speakers. Yes, it can add wireless surround sound speakers. So pair them up and get listening to stuff. So Savage Mike wants to know if the MT300 or 500 series are gonna offer HDMI switching. They are not going to offer HDMI switching, but if that's what you want, Sony's got you covered with the CT series, which does offer it. Scorpio UN wants to know if the X800 Blu-ray player supports native 4K Ultra HD Blu-rays or just upscales traditional Blu-rays. Yes to both. It will indeed play native 4K Ultra HD Blu-rays in all of their beautiful resolution glory. If you don't have any of those you want to put in maybe some of your older Blu-rays, it's going to upscale them for you. So speaking of the X800, Justin Jacobs wants to know if it's going to support PlayStation View. We don't know yet. It's not out yet, so the final specs aren't yet done. But there are a ton of other options out there that do support PlayStation View right now. Simple Black wants to know if the XB40 can be paired with an XB3. It can't. It can be paired though with an XB20, 30, or 40. It can be paired to up to 10 devices out of any of those. So you can, you and nine friends can, can bump out at a party. So let's talk some TVs, specifically the X930E. Happy or wants to know if it's going to support 3D. It's not going to support 3D. The 4K Blu-ray standard and even consumer HDR does not support 3D. But if you want images to look like they're coming at you, Sony's got you covered with their Z90. One of the coolest things about the A1E OLED set is that the screen itself actually acts as a speaker. And I think Norelco and others want to know how that's actually going to sound. Well, it might be a bit counterintuitive and we haven't seen it in the US. Sony's actually been doing this for years in Japan. In fact, they've shown the set to a ton of reviewers and they've all had the overwhelming, the same answer, that it sounds awesome. So if you're worried about how your screen as your speaker is going to be, don't worry about it. It's gonna sound pretty incredible. The A1E has some cool industrial design. The easel stand in the back makes it look like it's kind of floating, but it also kind of begs the question, where are you gonna plug your stuff into? And that's what Dext wants to know. All the stuff you ordinarily would plug into a TV, all of your HDMI connections, uh, and also the power supply and processor are all housed in the easel in the back. So consumer OLED technology is still relatively new. It gives you incredibly dark blacks. You don't need any sort of backlighting for the panels. There's also some concern with new technology that perhaps the panels are going to fade, and that's what Yapik wants to know. So current OLED technology puts the panel's lifespan at exactly the same as current LCDs. So you don't really have to worry. So Batman Well wants to ask about the A1E, and the question is, since all the components and all the I.O. and the processors are in the easel of that set, when it's mounted on a wall and the easel's kind of collapsed, is it going to sit out really far back? There's not any reference to the easel itself being removable. And when you mount the A1E to a wall, it's actually going to sit as flush to the wall as almost every other OLED or LCD TV out there. Except this time, the whole screen can be your speaker. So you got that going for you. So most TV sizes end in a 5. Traditionally, it's been 55, 65, or 75. But Joe Brock Commander wants to know what happened to that 60-inch size. They are thinning down the bezels of the 65-inch set without sacrificing picture quality to the point where you can get a 65-inch set in what used to be a 60-inch space. From short throw projectors to headphones to sound bars to speakers to TV sets where the actual speakers are the screen itself, there's a ton of awesome things that Sony announced at CES 2017. You guys had questions, and hopefully we answered those questions for you. If you have any more, though, leave them in the comments down below. If you want to learn more about what Sony announced, again, I'll put those in the description in the box below. Until next time, check out Sony Signal videos. I'm John Rettinger. See you guys in the next video.